Uh, just a quick review of um, this book that I've been reading. Um, I still literally haven't even listened to the entire book from start to finish because, you know, book one is pretty boring, right? Like, I'm not really that interested in the mind of Adolf Hitler or whatever. Like, I'm not really interested in that part. Um, I, I listened to book two. I listened to book two, but I didn't listen to book two in its entirety. I mean, uh, The Road to Power actually talks about, you know, the beer hole push was in 1922. But I, I, I listened to The Life in the Third Reich, 1933 to um, 1937. What was he talking about? Uh, basically, what he was talking about is, oh, do I want to ruin it for you guys? No, I don't. But uh, just a quick review. But it's it's a good it's a good audio book. I would say it's only good if you are very, very interested in history and World War II and the reason why World War II happened and all of the events leading up to it, why it happened and every detail. If you're interested in everything, if you're interested in all the nitty gritty details and you want to, and if you are a real historian or a history buff or you are super interested in World War II, then you should listen to this audiobook because if you have a slight interest, don't listen to this audiobook. It's really only for people that are super interested because this book is like 42 hours long. Longer than 42 hours. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How long is it? Book one. 56 hours. 56 hours. That's almost three days of listening almost three days if you listen constantly so it's probably going to take you a couple months to really listen to this you should just listen to book one maybe in uh just listen to maybe the first chapter in one day the second chapter one day and it's and it's a great book i think it's excellent uh, why is it excellent i think it's excellent because it tells you everything, everything about World War II and why it happened and the reason why it happened and the alliances and all of those details. I mean, it doesn't give you the overall picture. You can know, it gives you the overall picture, definitely, but it doesn't give you the nitty gritty details. And it really tells you how Austria was taken over, the Anschluss. It teaches you about the fate of Czechoslovakia and how Czechoslovakia was abandoned by the Allies for the for appeasing Germany and appeasing Hitler, and uh, they they moved from like it's it's and it's also interesting how the British and the French and the and the capitalist and the, and the capitalists uh, they 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 moved away from a from a from a they, what they were doing was collective defense so um so basically if one one country is attacked the whole alliance goes to war but they shifted from that policy to a policy of appeasement and, and that and that is what helped hitler gain power why did hitler go for the anschluss to gain power, to weaken the West, and to threaten the East, and to strengthen Germany. And he did it all politically. They were all bloodless conquests. And, it's, and, and, it, and it also tells you that even though Neville Chamberlain, Neville Chamberlain was weak, he shouldn't have given Hitler Czechoslovakia because... France actually guaranteed Czechoslovakia's independence, but but the pro, but, but what happened was even though they guaranteed their independence, they 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 had an alliance with Britain, and Britain was 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 the was, was the country that told France to to not de defend Czechoslovakia. And, uh, Hitler would have backed off. And then it teaches you about the Rhineland and how Germany occupied it. And all Hitler's generals were scared to death about the France, about the French attacking and attacking Germany or even occupying. Because if if the French actually sent out a tiny force, because the French at that time were a lot stronger than the Germans in 19... Uh, when was the occupation of the Rhineland? 1936. 
and that's in um that, that that's that's in the life in the third reich 1933 to 1930 no it's actually in first steps but very good book i mean i would say book three is definitely the best the best uh portion of it but to really really grasp the whole book and to really understand it and to really appreciate book three you'd have to read listen to book one but i i don't think it's i don't think it's really too related it's related but it's it doesn't i would recommend it but but it's not necessary you know book three and book four are amazing uh book five it's pretty good pretty decent uh the new order talks about how um the, 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 the Nazis were oppressing the people that were under their yoke in, in the occupied countries and stuff like that. Very good book. Uh, I think it's excellent for you to gain a perspective on how the Germans operated. And it's disgusting, too, what they did in, the, in, in those occupied countries and what Himmler did in the SS and, uh, and the SA and the Sicker Heinstitz. I don't know how to pronounce it, but. Pretty good book. I'd say it's pretty excellent, actually. I think I would recommend you guys to read it, but only if you're a big fan of history. If you're not a fan of history, don't listen to this book because it's overwhelming, too. Not for the faint of heart. It's not for the faint of heart. I'm telling you guys, do not listen to this audiobook if you're not, you're not even... Really, if you're not a big fan of it, you're not even you're not even gonna listen to the whole thing. You're gonna get bored after like ten seconds. So, you know, I'm just telling. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't recommend it to someone that's not a history buff. Just saying, you don't want to waste your time. Then don't listen to it. But excellent, excellent audiobook. I think it was done very well. Um, I want to give a little shout out to William L. Shearer. Definitely a very good author. He he was do he, he did a good job. William H. Sure did a good job, and it's a classic. It's a, it's definitely a classic. You know, um, it goes well if you if you want to um, smoke a joint and you know have some coffee and listen to this audio book. It's, it's very good, and 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 you can't just listen to it one time, because each time when you listen to it, you're gonna you're, you're gonna you're gonna listen to it from a different perspective. And you're gonna be be able to catch up on things that maybe you missed because listening to an audiobook that's longer than fifty hours, there's obviously gonna be bits and parts of the audiobook that you maybe didn't listen to as much as you listened to the others, or you kind of didn't wasn't that focused, or you you weren't that interested in that part. You were more interested in this other part. So listening to it maybe I'd say a couple times would give you a different perspective and lead, and really help you absorb the material, and maybe you can learn something from it. But that's what I would say. I think I think this book is excellent. I think it's excellent. I think it's very good. Not just excellent, but one of the because it's scholarship and and it's and it's work and it's and it's history. It's history. This actually happened. So learning about what happened in the past will make sure that you're not doomed to repeat it. And I think it's excellent. I think everyone should really listen to this audiobook. But but I'm a realist. I know everyone's not going to listen to it because not everyone likes this stuff. Different people have different tastes and different things. And that's that's cool. You know, I respect that. Um, so, very good book. Man, it's excellent. And it also teaches you about how the Soviets and the Nazis, they had a pact so that they could uh, carve up the Baltic states and carve up Poland and crazy just 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 crazy stuff and it teaches and it also t tells you how the west which is britain and france and belgium and belgium and the netherlands were neutral because they were scared of the germans they, they obviously they couldn't stand up to them but the the collective defense was obviously the best way for them to defend against the nazis but 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 they went away from the collective uh, defense so and, and i believe the west should have invested more into the Soviets, into Joseph Stalin, because Russia actually guaranteed Czechoslovakia, but Russia only guaranteed Czechoslovakia if France guaranteed Czechoslovakia. So when France took away its guarantee of Czechoslovakia, 
Russia took away their guarantee because it was it was dependent on France. It's just a lot of politics too. I, I don't really like the politic act, politics aspect. I think it's all bullshit. And even back then it was bullshit. And even right now it's bullshit. Politics will always be bullshit. It's always going to be whoever can pull the wool over the other person's eyes and intimidate or lie to. or It's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, but... I'm never going to be interested in politics. I'm ne- I never I, I never was and I never will be. <laughs> I never was and I never will be, but excellent book. Uh you guys should read it. You guys should listen to it. Maybe get the book, maybe listen to the audiobook. I would recommend the audiobook. Uh all you got to do is just is just type it into just just go to uh, Audible, type it in here, The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich right here. There it is. It's right there. And then you just click on it if you want to listen to it. It's a, it's a very, very good book. But you can also get it on YouTube for free. I mean, I paid for it because I'm a big fan of that stuff. But um, uh, yeah, that's 68 deluxes, whatever. But um, yeah, good book. And it kind of, it's an excellent book. You know, it's excellent. Very good. Very, very, very good. And I cannot stress that enough. But 155,000 views. I mean, hopefully I get some views in this fucking uh, review. I mean, reviewing this book would take hours and hours and hours. It's an excellent book. Don't get me wrong. It's excellent. It's probably one of the best that I've listened to ever in my life. But... I think the 48 Laws of Power audiobook is excellent too. So don't 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 let that fool you. But excellent book. I think I'm gonna listen to it again. Uh, I'm definitely gonna listen to it again. I haven't actually listened to it that many times. One time, and I didn't really listen to the first part either that much because it's uh boring. First part's kind of boring, but. I'm going to listen to it maybe another time when I have more time and I'm not working on my YouTube channel, but I'm definitely interested. I think it's an interesting book, excellent book, but um, yeah, you know, um, stay tuned and uh, hopefully you guys like this video, uh, get the likes up and let's, let's, let's get some traction here, guys. I'm out. Peace.